What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. Now I know you guys are all very busy right now watching the ASL, but I wanted to draw your attention to this game that was just played on the ladder between Flash in the bottom left hand corner and Hyun over here in the top left. Unfortunately this season, Flash not going to be joining the ASL slash SSL. Uh, we're not sure what the reason for that is. Or if he's going to be coming back uh, in the next season, if he's going to join up in the next season, maybe he just needs a little bit more time to refine his play. We're not sure. But it's always nice to see his slow recovery. His, it's nice to see him practicing on the ladder and playing games. Uh, it gives us hope that we'll see him again in the future and that he'll be back in his dominant form once again. I mean... I don't know if you guys think that's good for Brood War, if you think it's bad for Brood War, if Flash is out here playing at his very best, but I don't know. I think it's good. I think it's awesome to have uh, such a big name. It just draws in the crowd so much, brings so much more attention to the sport. Anytime you have a player like that who comes back, I feel like it's just, it's fantastic. Like if Bisu was gone and then he came back, so think of how many Bisu fans would suddenly show up to start watching Brood War once again, or if it, if Jadong, for example, you know, wasn't in the scene, or even like Last. Imagine if Last came back. How many play? How many people who hadn't been watching Brood War for a while would suddenly be like, "What? Last is back? All right, let's let's get into this. Let's watch this. Let's see what's up with Brood War in 2024, 2025." I I just think it's great for the sport as a whole. So. We're going to be taking a look at this game right now. See how Flash is developing in TVZ. Now, we haven't gotten a lot of games of TVZ with him. And that's because I've heard reports that not many pro Zerg players have been playing on the ladder. At least not on their main race. So, a lot of them have been practicing playing Terran or Protoss. Not a lot of them have actually been grinding games as zerg and there's actually just a lack of professional zerg players in general right now right we don't have effort in the scene we don't have larva in the scene we're missing out on quite a few really key players key faces for zerg so uh the lack of zerg on the ladder means that we just have had a serious lack of zerg players and Zerg matchups versus Flash. Now, Flash has opened with a CC first and gone directly into Factory. Oh, man. Three Factory immediately off of CC first. You know, we saw him doing this right when he came back to the ladder. Um, not exactly this, but playing a lot of Factories, like a lot of uh, mech play. Uh, we also saw him do double armory mech play versus Zerg, and it was crazy. Absolutely crazy, but you can get away with so much off of this CC first. This CC first is insane. Now, as for Hyun's build, he's gone for a regular 2.5 hatch. He's going to throw down a creep colony at the front here. He sees that we don't have any more Marines producing, so he knows there's got to be something like a Vulture coming out here pretty soon. Just needs to get that online so that he won't be losing a bunch of drones here before his Mutalists can come out. Now, Mutalists are on the way. There's no Vultures at all being made here. It's just pure Goliath. And Karen Boosters is coming up. Turrets are on the way. So much leeway with this build for Flash. He has really like optimized his economy as well. You can see he's only... Uh, gathering gas with two workers on this gas. Now he's going to uh, upgrade that to three. But his money is like perfect, right? He had to put down a bunch of turrets. So he needed that extra mineral income. It wasn't mining the gas quite as much. And everything is lining up perfectly right now. You can just see how good Flash is. Even when he's not at his peak form. He is just an optimization machine. This guy plays like a T-1000. He just does not stop. And he keeps on perfecting his economy 
more factories coming down here. And this is going to be like a five factory, one armory. We're going to get armor online. I don't think we're going to see a starport here. So no plus two timing. I think it's just going to be one big move out as the plus one armor comes online. And then we'll probably back off and wait for plus one attack and then do a second move if our first move doesn't do critical damage. So he's gathering the Goliaths together. It's really scary to move out with such a small group of Goliaths. You want to bring all of them together um, to make sure that you're ready to fight. He's actually worried about, looks like a backstab into the main base. Uh, if there was just a huge amount of Mutas flying in, he's only got one turret here back at home. So you can see just how optimized this man is. He, like, there's, there's nothing here. There's hardly anything in this main base. If a bunch of Mutas flew in right now, he would lose a huge amount of SCVs, but he's being really careful. He's driven the Mutalis away. Now they're looping around. Maybe going to come over towards this natural, potentially. He's threatened out on the map to force extra sunken colonies, and he's just waiting now for his upgrades to come online. That armor upgrade is super critical right now. Glass are just going straight across the map as these turrets fall. Reinforcements are going to come down here. Five Goliaths at a time. That's a lot of Goliaths. There's a lot of anti-air to help him deal with these Mutas. Now, adding on some more turrets. He's going to get this defense back up and probably group up all of his Goliaths for that first big attack. Triple sunken over here. Triple sunken over here. It really feels like Hyun wants to dive. He just wants to fly in and kill a bunch of workers while defending back at home with those sunken colonies. He's going to need a little bit more than three if he wants to purely hold on with just sunken colonies, though. This is a lot of Goliaths, and more are coming to reinforce this number. He's catching one Goliath out here in the middle of the map, but suddenly going to get surrounded. Okay, diving on this left-hand side. He's going to dive on top of the reinforcements here from Flash, but everything comes together beautifully. Flash is going to drive that back. Now, more Goliaths being sent out here to the natural. We do have two turrets here, and Hyun just going to have to back off once again. It's so crazy. He's only built one turret in the main base. This is so lightly defended, but he's kind of forced these Mutas to not head to his main. Now, there might be a gap here where Hyun can run around and start to get into the main base but you know what he really doesn't want to fly into that main because he knows the counter is going to come quickly and if he's oh, down here in the main it's very hard to get all the way back here in time to help defend so i think that flash has just gamed this out correctly to where he knows that hyun will not be able to fly into his main base and that he can just lightly defend that keep pumping out goliaths and keep that threat alive in the middle of the map hydra attack is on the way here we've got hydralis coming out more hatcheries coming down he's even going to take this fourth base over here in the top right hand corner kian to pick off the barracks right now it's going to stop more uh f factories from being added on until that barracks can be rebuilt seems like he's going to save it though repairs that up and there's the starport so he will get a starport going and a science facility will follow so he can get his vehicle upgrades level two and he might go for a tank yeah he is gonna start a tank here we should see siege mode started pretty soon as well he's just gonna keep on with these upgrades keep on pumping goliaths get into a science vessel and irradiate and then try to push in with tanks against all of these sunken colonies a lot of economy has been dumped in those sunken colonies was absolutely necessary here for Hyun to do that, to make sure that uh, Flash couldn't just push him down uh, with these, this Goliath build. But Flash has walked this fine line where he's like forcing out sunken colonies, but also building into a huge army and teching up slowly. Slowly teching up. He's not taking it too quick. Didn't add this on super quick with a second armory or anything like that. He's just waited for both those upgrades to finish. And now he can start his plus two attack. Should be on the way here any second, just as soon as he's got that gas. Um, does prioritize the irradiate and the first vessel, though. Once that first vessel comes out, 
and you've got a radiant on the line these mutas are not really going to do much it's going to be very hard to get value out of these anymore because the irradiate is going to drop right on the pack of them you're probably just going to have to split them all up as best you can and try to pull the irradiated mutalisk out the moment that the engagement happens and the spell gets cast down so here we go we've got quite a few mutas ready to dive in and you know this is really reminiscent of uh i re was remembering from the qualifiers wiko's play uh wiko 1127 who ended up taking out calm had a similar game like this where he allowed the zerg player to get up into four bases but he was very very strong with his mech play and he went to a third base calm dove in with all of his units and lost everything and then 1127 was able to push him before queens came on the line now are there going to be queens this game is hyun going to make the same mistake as calm did in the qualifier i doubt it it seems like he's just hanging back as you should allowing the third base to come up here's going to be a fourth base on the way as well you don't really want to allow the terran player to take another corner of the map like down here but it's not too bad if you allow them to take their quadrant it's not the worst thing in the world oh it looks like the barracks did end up dying so we will have to remake that there's the queens on the way eight queens coming out and we have broodling uh, coming up as well plus two attack is on the way here but a quarter of the way done more tanks being added on because the hydra number is starting to get quite serious there we go there's the queens they're gonna be hidden maybe somewhere up here maybe somewhere over here gotta hide them somewhere where it's unlikely that you're gonna get scanned but flash is so good with his scans he's so consistent with scanning the oppo opponent's army he might have already even spotted this five more queens on the way eight more hydras he's moving towards this base down here uh at the bottom center hydras are gonna take fights with a lot of these oh he kills the uh science vessel there let's zoom out a little bit so we can get this whole fight hydras up at the top side gonna get wiped out by a lot of these tanks but the mutas are still alive and the hydras make their way down here maybe he can snipe the command center maybe kill a lot of scvs let's see it's too bad he didn't bring a queen with him that would be insanely good right now if he brought the queen he could just lower the hp of this cc and try to steal it away but looks like he's gonna lose his entire army all of the mutas are gonna go down i would love to see him just park mutas over here so this can't easily fly over um yeah if this is just gonna float this direction and you keep the mutas here then he has to float like all the way around to actually get this to the base that would be funny leave a queen and a bunch of mutas here that would be really slick play from hyun but you know what hyun has just lost his entire army he traded out okay with the army of flash he killed quite a few scvs as well his uh scv or his worker count is about the same now but did he buy enough time for the queens i don't think he quite bought that time he's got like 20 more seconds before he will have broodling more hydras coming out from uh top right that secondary rally point gonna be very key here uh, i don't know if he pulled the trigger a little bit too soon diving in with that army it feels like flash might just barely be able to deal enough damage before the queens really come online he's trapped everything in the back here's the queens with the energy can he actually get all of these a, a, a lot a lot of these don't have the energy okay he does throw down some of these broodlings here we go shooting from this angle but the tanks are getting way too much damage on the hydras hydras here and drones are falling we're down to 45 he finally dives in throws down a few more broodlings and clears out this army big win here for hyun but is it enough 70 scvs are now online he has to shut down the space he has to come down here and shut down the space right now he's running across the map flash will have enough i think to defend here and here he's got quite a few tanks left over are there more queens yes these queens have energy we've got five queens we've got three four five six tanks if he can come in and snipe all of these tanks he could absolutely break this base 
He's not going for bottom right. This is a little bit unfortunate. He's going to go over here. Let's see if he can get all of the tanks right now. Go for the splits. Here we go. Cast the Broodling. Can he actually do it? He's trying not to get killed by these Goliaths while he's casting. Doing a great job so far. He actually used, I think, a few uh, Queen's energy. Um... Okay, he actually got all the, the Brindling stuff. Never mind. He got all five off and he killed all the tanks. This is amazing. This is great, great play from Hyun. Hyun has broken the push and now he's getting more and more value out of these queens. You need to send these back home. You don't want to end up losing them. There's not that many of them left over. Still producing workers and hydras. GG is called. He taps out. Incredible play from Hyun. Really, really impressive stuff from him. I think he did exactly the right play when it comes to you know the timing of that dive it seems maybe just a few seconds too early and it's very easy to make that mistake because flash was starting to push out this direction he comes in for the counter attack here buying time for the queens to build their energy so important the energy on these units the timing of when they pop out, the timing of when they get scouted, and the timing for when the push ends up coming across the map. Everything about this timing went in Hyun's favor. He ends up dealing a little bit of damage and buying just enough time for these queens to come online. Flash losing his uh, major army, his big army, not having enough tanks left at home. The queens getting more value as those tanks try to defend. And this base really being unprotected right now, especially these. I think this was the Goliaths that were actually down here defending this base. They got pulled back to try and save the day, but they are met by even more Hydras. And Hyun just doing a fantastic job. Really impressed by him. And you can just see that Flash is not quite there yet, right? His, his TVP matchup was fantastic been watching that a lot lately but he just hasn't had as much practice i guess on the ladder with tvz so we'll have to be on the watch for more flash tvz games thank you guys so much for watching today i hope you enjoyed this match kcm will be coming out tomorrow we're gonna be starting season four of 2024 uh, right away so look forward to that guys thank you again and i'll see you in the next video